Only three months ago, Liberians celebrated being Ebola-free for the second time. But on Monday, a 15-year-old boy died of the disease at Painesville Hospital near the capital, Monrovia. It is very sad that with everything we've done, we've lost the primary first case yes, late yesterday. Nathan Gubatoi tested positive last week. His father and brother are also being treated for the disease. Liberia has placed 153 people under surveillance who may have come into contact with him. An additional 25 healthcare workers are being monitored, 10 of whom are identified as high risk. The response is going very, very well. There is no need for the general public to panic. We are in control. And I'm repeating, we are in control. A vaccine for Ebola is now available in Liberia, according to the World Health Organization. People who may benefit from vaccination, who may have been exposed to the confirmed case, can have access to this uh, vaccination. So all is moving on course, and uh, indeed the plan was to begin uh, uh, vaccinating uh, those high-risk contacts as quickly as possible. Of the three countries hardest hit by the disease, Sierra Leone was declared Ebola-free on the 7th of November and Guinea on the 16th of November. The World Health Organization said that 11,300 people have died of the virus since the outbreak was announced in March last year.